Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Aries the Emperor here. Um, 12.21 on the clock as we start this reading. Um, if you are new here, welcome. This is an all Aries channel for all Aries placements. Cross watchers are welcome as well. Please take in mind that this reading may or may not resonate with everyone. So um, just simply take what does, leave what does not. Place the gender roles where they need to be for you. This is energy and energy is all fluid. Okay, um, so I just wanted to come on here like I promised. Um, I got quite a few requests um, as far as coming on here and doing a reading for New Moon in Gemini. So here I am. Um, we are literally less than, um, well, 1222 on the clock. Thank you, Spirit. We are exactly 10 minutes um, from where I am, um, exactly from the New Moon at its peak here. I've been outside, man, and when I say that moon is just as red here as me protecting my crown chakra is right now. Um, it's a pretty bright red moon. But nonetheless, um, we're going to jump in here and do a reading while this energy is brewing um, and just get some clarity from not just um, the physical, but from the spiritual realm as well. Okay. So thank you guys to those who have subscribed to the channel. Um, to those who have booked personal readings, um, I will be getting those out periodically. So just make sure you are checking your email for updates. Um, the website is still on sale. Candles and readings um, are all on sale at this time. I'll leave all my info in the description box if you would like to connect with me, okay? All right, so... I feel like with this new moon here, Aries, um, you need to focus on both sides of the situation, okay? Um, and this is not a time to gain clarity or to rush in to anything new, okay? Um, because as we know, Gemini has two sides, um, so don't get baited in at first sight, okay? Um, the first time, the first go round, however you want to put it. Just wait is what spirit is saying. You know, step inside, look around, introduce yourself. Okay. And from there, just observe things. You know, we also will be dealing with Neptune. Okay, which may cause for things to be cloudy as well um, and, and seem more of, of an illusion like or even delusion in some way, shape or form. Okay, so don't cloud yourself um, and don't overanalyze at this time. All right. Too much communication at this time um, is not something that you want to indulge in. All right. Whether that's something simply as strong dialing. Um, or just prematurely expressing something, getting it off of your chest, all right? Um, just wait it out, all right? Like I said, think two sides to every story. Sometimes they say three, yours, theirs, and the truth, all right? But I'm telling you now, wait this out, okay? Um, but this is still a clean slate for you as well, Aries. So let's jump in and get some messages from Spirit. All right, Ten of Cups, as I just said here, this is a clean slate for you, okay? Um, a lot of us, you know, have gone through trials and tribulations. And I say us because I'm a part of the Aries Collective. Um, but I feel like, um, I, like I have mentioned here in previous readings, this is a time for change for you. And not just any change, you know, major change in your life, pivotal change. Um, once in a lifetime change. Um, and, and this is something here uh, that I feel that is not to say ready to fall in your lap, but like I mentioned here, you're more aligned now in this day and age than you have ever been. You know, the Ten of Cups is cancer energy. So there is automatically something about you um, that draws people into your energy um, and makes them, makes them, want to open up their world and make you a part of it 
uh, makes them want to break down barriers and walls and boundaries and rules and and things that they follow um, just to experience a piece of your happiness here, okay? Um, and, and on top of that, I feel like, I don't know if Gemini is out here yet, but um, since New Moon and Gemini is what we are dealing with here, I can only think about, you know, people wanting to put their best face forward towards you. Um, so that they get the best of you, you know, it sounds so selfish, but I really feel like there are energies out there that are, are really doing that, you know, they really fantasize, um, about being next to you, around you, talking to you in your presence. And, um, it's just a matter of figuring out what little things that you like, any little things that you like and tugging on those heartstrings just to get in your atmosphere here is what I'm getting. Okay. Eh, I can't make this shit up. Four of Pentacles. All right, Capricorn energy. Um, so this is control. This is greed. This is materialism. And before I even flip the card over, I was mentioning that um, your essence and aura that you offer to others here is, is like one where um, they'll rob, steal, um, and kill. Hopefully not literally. Um, but um, just metaphorically speaking, <laughs> but this is just an energy of, like I mentioned here, showing your good side, um, and ultimately getting a pass, um, so that they can get in your energy here. So just be aware of that. You know, you have the hair font coming out as well, Taurus energy. So this is someone who is, um, I, I hate to say worshiped, but it, I mean, when you look at the two guys in front of this person here, it's like the almighty Pope or high priestess, not high priestess, but you know, the, like I mentioned, the almighty Pope, if the words would come out right. <laughs> um, but it's just, I feel like someone looks up to you. Um, someone is afraid of you in some way, shape or form, but at the same time, they are at your mercy is what I feel um, and, and you just don't realize this here. I feel like someone finds it hard to control themselves and they seek solace um, and I feel like they pray about it. Um, and I don't know where this is coming from. I mean, Page of Swords here, Aquarius energy, watching you, <laughs> curious, obsession. And this could be someone of power. But I feel like someone is figuring out that they don't have much power um, when it comes to you, um, especially with this six of cups here. Scorpio energy. This is I feel like deep feelings for you here. You know, someone is slowly but surely giving in to their curiosity. Three of Pentacles. Can't make this up is it's what's at the bottom of the deck coming together. For a common goal, a common solution, working together for some type of benefit, Capricorn energy, some type of image. And somehow, you know, like I mentioned, this could be someone who has looked at or already has a public image of some sort here. But for some reason, um, you are hitting them in spots that are of nostalgia here or this could be just more than one person this doesn't have to be a lover's um type of aspect here but it's just overall said and done that you are um when it comes to being someone who is worth it it's you And I feel like you have all types of characters watching over you, watching you, um, wishing that they had more control over you. We have the Queen of Cups here, the Page of Wands, Aries Energy, the Justice card, Libra Energy, and bum, bum, ba, da, the Emperor. Thank you, Spirit. You have some type of authority over people. Justice Energy. You know, and even not just authority, it's like uh, also an energy of what goes around comes around with you. You know, it, it's an energy that you carry that um, I feel like people are waking up to someone and realizing, waking up to you as someone who is very intuitive um, and very locked in. 
You know, you know more than you come off. Or at least I feel like people are looking at you in that light here, like um, seven of cups here. Like this person is able to have their way or is having their way more than <laughs> six of wands. I can't make this up. You know, you have the power to command power, to command attention. Um, and not only that, you know, not just um, talk to talk, but it's giving, you're walking the walk here, okay? Because the Seven of Cups is abundant things coming up on you, options, choices um, of some sort here. And then the Six of Wands, all right, 1232 on the clock. Um, as where we are now, the moon is, um, we are literally... And moon and Gemini here, okay? Thank you, spirit. 1232 on the clock here. So six of wands, uh, seven of cups. Like I mentioned here, you are someone um, who is able to manifest many things here. And with the emperor card here, um, you're someone that is not only going to manifest these good things, um, but you are going to lead them into... To, Things that are going to turn into more abundant things and um, spill over and create more abundant things for you. Nine of Cups um, energy here, Virgo energy and Four of Cups and the Chariot Cancer energy here. But it's just an energy of your time is now is here, you know, step into it. You know, once upon a time you had potential and now you are great. You know, or at least becoming and stepping into that with the emperor card showing up here is what is giving me here. OK, um, and don't feel bad about it. You know, it's one point in time where you didn't have any options and now you're going to be overflowing with them. You know, now you're going to be in the spotlight and, and attention and focus of some sort. It's going to be on you because of the way you have been manifesting here. And it all started with this self-sufficient energy here. And like I mentioned, you may have been stuck in time here at one point, but now, you know, looking back, sitting back, looking at the bigger picture, you know, gaining the willpower and the strength and the determination um, to not give up on yourself and know that even if you failed before, you know, this time you're getting back up and you're much wiser, emperor energy, you know, and, and you're not here to fight dirty. That's why the justice is next to the emperor because... You know, just like any other great leader that rises, you know, rises the right way. You know, you're going to have people um, or energies and entities behind you that are um, going to try and find cracks and fault in you. So just be mindful of that here because the nine of wands is at the bottom of the deck as well. And that symbolizes you having to persevere. Eight of Swords. Gemini energy. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. All right, we have the Eight of Wands, the Five of Wands, and the Strength card. The Wheel of Fortune is what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck. All right. This is giving me an energy of, you know, I'm, I mean, I, I, I feel like someone is been actually not just going through the motions, but delving back into themselves and I mean, fighting tooth and nail disciplining yourself and it not being easy. I feel like this has been a mental battle for someone. You've probably lost relationships. 
There's probably all types of opinions about you. But all of this would not be happening if you were not doing something right here. Will of Fortune is what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck here. I mean, it takes a lot to take scrutiny, gang stalking, slander, <laughs> Ace of Pentacles, Will of Fortune. Take someone, Empress, Two of Pentacles, the Devil. Yeah, is what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck. Like I mentioned, someone is facing slander, um, adversity, judgment. And forced to, to, to hold it all together. You know, I feel like someone does not feel worthy of themselves. And they battle with that. You know, and when people aren't happy with themselves, I mean, you're hearing the Empress energy, Libra, Taurus energy. Two of Pentacles. This is like you juggling with these bullshit energies back and forth. When the whole time Ace of Pentacles, Will of Fortune, if you just let go of a few more things here, um, there is so much more that's going to set you free. minutes all right give me a few more spirit seven of pinnacles seven of wands eight of pinnacles is what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck my advice to you, Aries, um, at this time, whatever this is of happiness that's panning out for you, you know, protect it. Don't let anyone come in. Because I feel like there is this false image, this this false person that is watching you. And like I mentioned here, waiting to come in and pull on your heartstrings of some sort here. But it's not a positive energy. And the energy that you are vibrating in is unmatchable. The emperor to the empress. This is, I feel like, an opportunity opening up for someone here financially, um, if, especially if you own a business. Because the emperor is a boss. I feel like someone is getting ready to travel or experience a, a new lifestyle, a new caliber of some sort here that you're have not yet experienced things are changing for you i will say that you know give in to them don't try and take so much control of the situation here this is divine timing <clears throat> let things play out for you there is a higher power working out for you at this time aries regardless of who is watching you um, or who feels a way about what it is that you're doing now or in the past 
continue to use your intuition um, and speak through your potential. And I say that as in, even if it's baby steps, um, you keep stepping until you climb the ladder, um, until you are in that emperor status. Um, and once you get there, I, you are going to know, you know, there are going to be choices and options, abundant ones um, that are already in manifestation mode for you here. And just know attention comes with that. Hate comes with that. Blessings come with that. Comfort comes with that, um, especially if you are in a situation where somebody is so-called coming for your spot. Um, just don't get comfortable, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is a dog-eat-dog -dog world, and people will do anything to play mind games with you, to try and knock you off your game, to try and shift your good energy and your blessings, um, to throw a monkey wrench in your situation here, but remain strong through it all. You know, this is a big payout for you um, in many ways, not just monetarily, um, but with the will of fortune and the empress energy here, you know, keep taking care of yourself. Keep loving on yourself, regardless of what's going on around you. Because um, I feel like this time when you get to, to spin the wheel, um, it's going to be one where your ships are spinning in for you and you are protecting your peace, your investments um, that you are creating and building for yourself here. And it's going to be a, a situation where you are letting bygones be bygones because even if you did have beef with somebody in the past, like at this point, you're not even going to have time to sit there and even think about the shit, okay? Eight of Pentacles, like I mentioned, is what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, which is someone who is busy fucking working hard, like I've just mentioned. All right, we're 22 minutes in. Wow. Five of Swords, the Devil card popped out. <laughs> Not going to take it. Just be wary, you know. Yeah, I feel like there's energies out there that is like on some, you know, you think you're a boss. Um, I can try you type energy here. So, all right, this is way too many. All right, let's get one more and I'm going to close the reading out. This is much longer than I normally do. <laughs> Judgments, all right? Two of Wands, Aries energy, Death card, Scorpio energy is what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck. So like I mentioned, there's going to be a lot of debting to a lot of situations here anyways. Um, I feel like clarity is... Um, it's something that is on its way here for you. And when it comes through, it's going to be something that you're not going to question. Judgment, like I already mentioned here, you know, you've, you've already been down that road of being judged by others, not respected, looked over, um, and maybe even left for dead here. And not wanting to be someone that people want to take a risk on and overlooking here. But I feel like death card here i've said something about your mercy here earlier it's going to come to a point where um these energies are at your mercy or hell they may already be there um but just being misunderstood in general is something that you did not turn a cold heart to because of um you embraced your uniqueness um in that you are different and um, you allow spirit to work through you or you are allowing spirit to work through you so that you can accomplish things in your own individual way here. And even if that is going through a dark night of the soul and realizing um, that you need to separate yourself because you are finding your happiness. Ten of Cups here through other ways of practicing your spirituality in whatever way, shape or form that is for you here. OK, but. Aries energy is, is ending this reading now and it's strong, man. You got the world in your hands. So that speaks volumes. You know, you ready to go out there and you ready to fight another day. Um, and not only that, you got your big stick in, in one hand. 
you got the world in the other hand, um, and you got spirit behind you. And that's the most powerful thing that you can carry with you out here in these streets. Um, Hangman, the death card are right underneath each other. And the five of pentacles is right underneath that, plus the six of pentacles, which is everything I just clarified here and being judged and cast out here. And, and, and people not realizing or energy is not even realizing that, you know, people call themselves a prize. Um, until God wakes them up, walks you in their lives and, and attacks their demons. You know, you put a mirror to these people's faces or these energies here. And it, it's just a, a energy of spiritual warfare. We're all dealing with it at this at this time in some way, shape or form here. But like I mentioned, um, not to fret. <laughs> you write where you need to be collective if, as always. All right. I'm going to leave this reading here. It was a mouthful. I am so tired. <laughs> I have readings to get out to you guys, um, like I mentioned, and candles. So just stay tuned. Um, or I'm sorry, check your emails and we will get everything delivered smoothly. All right. Hit that like and subscribe button for more messages from me. I'm delirious right now, you guys. Ciao. It's new moon in Gemini. It, scatter brain is what it is. Is, is what I, I'm like airheaded right now. <laughs> Ciao.